We would also like to recognize the 82nd Airborne Division Jumpmaster and Trooper of the Year for 2017, and we'll say more about them in just a moment as well. And we'd also like to recognize Clancy and Barbara Gavin Foundry. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem sung by the All-American Chorus. Thank you. You may be seated. In World War II, we became known as the 82nd Airborne Division to include the 325th Glider Infantry Regiment 714 KIA. The 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 
642 KIA. The 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 690 KIA. The 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 382 KIA. The 508th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 612 KIA. The 509th Parachute Infantry Battalion, 162 KIA. The 307th Airborne Engineer Battalion, 133 KIA. The 307th Airborne Medical Battalion, 7 KIA. The 80th Airborne Anti-Aircraft Battalion, 76 KIA. Division Special Troops, 7 KIA. Division Artillery, to include the 319th Glider Artillery, the 320th Glider Artillery, the 376th Parachute Artillery, the 456th Parachute Artillery, 207 KIA. Attached units to the division, 397 KIA. Other airborne units in World War II to include the 11th Airborne Division, the 17th Airborne Division, the 101st Airborne Division, the 503rd Parachute Regimental Combat Team, 4,364 KIA. Polish Paratroopers, 93 KIA. The 187th Airborne Regimental Combat Team, Korea, 1,814 KIA. The 82nd Airborne Division in Dominican Republic, 13 KIA. The 82nd Airborne Division, 3rd Brigade Task Force in Vietnam, 224 KIA. Other airborne units in Vietnam, the 101st Airborne Division, the 173rd Airborne Brigade, the 1st Airborne Brigade of 1st Cav Division, 4,000. 462 KIA. The 82nd Airborne Division in Grenada and Panama, 6 KIA. The 82nd Airborne Division in the Global War on Terrorism, 353 KIA. All troopers, former and active duty, that have passed away during this past year to include our most recent losses, First Lieutenant Wesson Lee, Sergeant Jonathan Hunter, Specialist Christopher Harris, killed in action.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand with me as I offer a prayer for our departed paratroopers. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who on this earth fills our human canopy with the breath of life and carries us into your presence on the wings of your spirit. Surround the souls of our departed comrades with your heavenly presence. O oh God, in whose hands are the living and the dead, we give you thanks for the good example of these, your servants, who were willing to dedicate their lives to the service of our nation. Grant to them your merciful protection that the good work which they, which you have begun in them may be perfected in the world to come. Bless and comfort all who grieve this day and may we ever remain loyally steadfast to the highest ideals of which many have died and by which we all should live this i ask in the name of our lord amen <laughs> part 
of a much larger family than just what we have at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Now, Lord, bless the food that we are about to receive. And I pray that you would also bless the fellowship around each table. And we'll give you thanks, O oh Lord, for all that you do. For I ask these things in the name of Christ our Lord, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, please. <laughs>
Thank you, Armada. I would now like to introduce Chapter Colonel James R. Griffin, who will provide the invocation. We see throughout this room tonight those who have served before us and have helped to write the rich history of this division. I pray that our time tonight will continue to help strengthen the bond of brotherhood that has been the foundation of the All-American Division. Thank you for the 82nd Airborne Division Association and for their efforts to provide the means to help keep veteran and active paratroopers united by that airborne spirit. As we gather here this evening, we remember those paratroopers from within our ranks who are currently deployed in harm's way and we pray, O oh Lord, for their protection and safety. We know that the world is a safer place today because of the sacrifice and the dedication of those who have served and currently serve in this great division. I pray that as we enjoy this meal that is prepared for us tonight, help us to remember that all good gifts come down from the Father above. Give us strength now for the days ahead and hope in times of despair. Grant us your continued favor, I pray. For I offer this prayer in your mighty and your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
story about uh, Mr. Walter Shear. And Mr. Shear, like most men, uh, when Pearl Harbor happened, went uh, immediately down with his friends to try to enlist in the military. Uh, found out, though, that he had tuberculosis at, excuse me, tuberculosis at the time and ended up instead spending six years in a hospital. Um, but he never forgot about those friends and the sacrifices 
that they had to make that uh, he was unfortunate uh, and unable to do due to being in the hospital. Years later, Mr. Shear, who was from uh, a very close neighborhood to mine, and he lived in Queens, New York, uh, started following the legacy of one of the 508th paratroopers uh, that went in uh, to Normandy and was unfortunately killed in action there. As I spoke of before, their family uh, members and friends are here today. And Mr. Shear took such a, a, a um, astound uh, caring for the family that he sought out their family to, uh, uh, or excuse me, his family to be able to speak with them, and even traveled over to his grave site overseas in, in Normandy. Uh, still not satisfied that he had done enough because uh, he's such a, a wonderful American. Uh, he's decided that he would also like to do some donations to the association so that we can continue to help out the soldiers. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Shear, just very within the last few weeks, has uh, gotten pneumonia. He is 94 years old, uh, so we hope him to get well and be able to join us possibly at our next uh, event. But since he's unable to be here, we do have a video that he has provided to us to tell us uh, some of what he'd like to do for our association. Thank you. He's dedicated to the caretakers of the world. And the best caretakers in the world are the group we're addressing today, the 82nd Airborne Group. We're celebrating the 100th anniversary of taking care of the freedom of America and the freedom of the world. It's a great honor for me, it's a humbling experience to be addressing this wonderful group that has made history over the years. A feature of the book is a, a, a member of the uh, Airborne, the 82nd Airborne, who died at Normandy. He came from my neighborhood, but I did not know him. But I did get him to home because I made a trip to Normandy in 2014. And, and, the, and the book opens up with the words, on a rain swept bluffs overlooking Omaha Beach, I wept before the grave of a man I have never met. His name was Francis Bond. He died a hero at Normandy. It was an emotional visit for me. Never Walter Scherer and the Walter and Vera Scherer Foundation are pleased to announce a major new initiative with the 82nd Airborne Association. Walter has committed to a generous donation totaling $250,000 to support the members of the 82nd Airborne Association and a new partnership with the Center for Discovery. The donation is divided into three parts. The first part is a scholarship uh, fund to support uh, members of the 80, 82nd Airborne Association. It's a $100,000 development of an Adventure Challenge program. The other part is uh, the one with Coastal I Heart because it was created where who wants to show uh, $50,000 for the purchase of Indigo Power Wheelchair. What a wonderful thing. My life has been a life full of adventure. But just but being able to be a part of this celebration has been the highlight of my life. It has brought me full circle to my 93rd year. I thank everybody for their efforts. I thank the 82nd for keeping this country free. 
Thank you. I think most of all, for being an American citizen, and he second has done that for all of us. Thank God, bless America. And as it says in the Constitution, in God we trust. Unfortunately, Mr. Shear has not uh, is not able to make it with us tonight. But his wife Sylvia Shear is here, and we'd like to welcome her up, up here on the podium, please. <laughs> between the 82nd Airborne and Discovery was blessed in heaven. In Walter's way, he writes about his grandma McHugh, who he visited every Sunday for 18 years, and Father Jolly, the local priest, was an honor guest every Sunday. He blessed his family as they departed each Sunday with a prayer, and I think it's appropriate that the union between Discovery and the 82nd Airborne be blessed with the Irish prayer. May the road rise up to meet you, May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. May love and laughter light your days and warm your heart and home. May peace and plenty bless your world. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. And until we meet again, God bless you and God bless America. a little gift that we had presented to us and uh, we're going to have a description of what exactly it is uh, before we present it to you. This piece of pottery was made at the oldest pottery in the United States by an 11th generation potter. This particular potter has pieces of art in the Smithsonian Museum, Forge Museum, the Kennedy Center, and over 15 museums across the country. On behalf of the 82nd Airborne Division Association and the veterans of the 82nd Airborne Division, thank you for your dedication and your call. And your call. And Mrs. Shearer has presented us with the first installment of checks, $50,000 for the education fund. Good evening. Um, back in 2013, uh, the convention was in my home city of Indianapolis, and I was honored to serve as convention chairman for that convention. Uh, those of you that were there may remember a little lady that we introduced to the crowd who was celebrating her 95th birthday that evening, and you were all kind enough to uh, sing happy birthday to her. Um, it made her night. Uh, that lady was Lida Bikes, who was the widow of our chapter namesake, Tillman Bikes. And Till was a World War II glider rider. Um, they were both extremely dedicated to the association. As a matter of fact, they were there from the beginning and um, uh, were actually um, uh, 
quite the pack rat, I might say. Uh, every convention they went to, every event they went to, they always uh, accumulated something from the association. And unfortunately, the year after that convention, uh, Lida passed away. We miss her a lot. But her family was kind enough to uh, bequeath her archives of material to our chapter. And in going through that, we uh, came across a few astonishing things. But one of them that really caught our eye was a photograph from the very first convention in 1947, which was held in uh, Chicago, Illinois, at the Stevens Hotel. And we had this uh, matted and framed. It's a beautiful picture. And we'd like to present that to the uh, association so that perhaps they could hang that on their wall. So thank you, Lida, and God bless you all. Um, in addition to that, we'd like to just uh, present a small token to the general fund. Um, and if I could, uh, just one other thing we'd like to do. Um, everyone knows that, that the division lost a couple of troopers a few weeks ago. And unfortunately, that same week in my home city, uh, we lost two police officers uh, uh, killed in the line of duty. Um, we'd like to remember them all in some way. So what we, we came up with was uh, uh, we'd like to uh, make a small donation uh, in these uh, heroes' name. Uh, Specialist Christopher Harris, 2504. Sergeant Jonathan Hunter, 2504. Uh, Southport Police Lieutenant Aaron Allen. And IMPD Deputy Chief James Waters. Uh, we'd like to make a donation towards the proposed 82nd monument at the uh, uh, Fort Benning Infantry Museum Walk of Honor. Uh, so we'll be presenting that award tonight as well. So thank you very much. <laughs>